Brian is genuinely um, one of the most caring, genuine people. He put anybody before himself, and um, I've always been proud to call myself his friend. Brian to meet somebody that would appreciate him for who he is and then also reciprocate that and I've never been happier than when he introduced us to you and we could tell right away that not only do you love him for all that he is but you also possess those qualities and and, and we'll, we'll give back to to him in kind. obvious that you've got a lifetime full of happiness ahead of you. So instead, I'll just say salute. I didn't get to be here the first time around, and the one who was isn't tonight. So I just want to take a moment to remember and and love where we've come from and those that are still here to see you move forward. When I look at you, Christy, I see a survivor. I see an overcomer. I see a beautiful woman who is finally able to stand up and say what she wants. So I love you both so very much, Brian. I'm so happy to be part of your family and to have you part of mine. for this day and every day forward. It is awesome looking back to when we first met, seeing how God has, was bringing us together at a time when we felt we might not ever find someone. I humbly give you my hand and my heart 
as I pledge my love to you. Brian, you are the moon to my stars. And it's Helen, you will shine my brightest. You are my person. I, Brian, take you, Christy, to make you my number one priority, to love your sons as my own, to keep God the center of our marriage and our family, to take you out on dates and keep the fire of our love burning strong, to always remember and celebrate our anniversary, all the special days and all the two sticks, <laughs> to be yours from this day forward until the end of my life. <laughs> On behalf of the happy couple, I'd like to pronounce the husband and wife and announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Abercrombie.